welcome <laughs> this is the um happy valentine's day um it is the energy vibration reading for the earth sign people i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back heart signs okay so the love readings have changed up and the reason why love uh, the this part of the love reading has changed up is that for the people who wants to see the extended of this love reading you can join the channel for your um your signs okay so if you want to see the extended of this love reading this love reading is taken up in a um a group and this is for the heart sign people um as you're looking for um your uh, whether you're a taurus virgo or capricorn you can look on the the stamp there is the stamp where you can choose uh, and you don't have to go through all of this okay so from this month um of february we are going to be uh, doing the love readings in um accumulation collection of uh, um elements so that people will know their elements and people can understand um, a lot about themselves more if you want the extended of this reading join and and the channel and link to because so you can receive your own um, extended so this is going to be done in a collaboration and this is for all the earth sign but you can choose whether you're Capricorn Taurus or Virgo there is going to be a stamp underneath this video okay so Happy Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's coming out. Mm. Always have to drink for my throat. All right. So if some of you are going to be uh, dealing with some karma in your relationship. So whatever is transpiring, karma is coming up for you in your relationship. We're going to be looking at who is bringing in this karma and how they're going to be affecting you. Then we have freedom. So some of you could be in a karmatic relationship and you want to have your freedom. You want to get out of this relationship. So that is um, coming up. Then we have money. And I see some of you, whatever that was happening with this karmatic relationship, um, it's like some of you are saving to get out of this relationship because you realize that it is time for you to leave this relationship because it's no longer serving you then we have young ladies between the ages of 20 of 18 and 25 I see you are the center of this month in love so I see you young ladies are really um, going to be dating a lot so you young ladies between the ages of 18 and 25 you're going to be um, dating a lot I see you on the dating scene but most of you are dating people um that is having karmatic relationship then i see the energy of family because some of you young ladies will be dating um, men who are married so the energy of families are coming up some of you are going to be upset because they can't see you on valentine's day because they have to be with their family i see past love is coming in for some of you the exes could be coming back or you could be hearing from your ex in this month okay this is the love reading then I see you you ladies between the ages of 25 and 45 that you're having some issues with the family and the ex okay you're having some issues with your ex so it could be someone who you have divorced that is coming back I see a lot of you young women are kind of pledging friendship bonds with um people so however these friendship bonds are coming up we are definitely going to be taking a look at this so again capricorns the extended of this reader is there so if you want to pick up the extended um go pick up the extended but um first we are going to be looking at the to the capricorns okay so capricorns there is a lot that is going on and um it's going to be affecting um young women 18 to 45 those are the people that love is um the um effect of love is going to be coming up um for the people who are between the ages of uh, um between the ages of uh, um, 
18 and 45 okay I see a lot of datings a lot of people are dating and they're um, a lot of exes are coming back like people who you had a family relationship with but the center of attraction is you young women between the ages of 18 and um, and 25 okay so first we're going to be looking at the Capricorns um, and then the Taurus and then the Virgo I'm doing it in alphabetical orders okay so you Capricorns really <laughs> You Capricorns are dealing with a karmatic relationship, maybe with another Capricorn. Um, but whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing um, you are trying to like kind of find yourself. However, this is coming up. Whatever is transpiring, you young ladies are so free, and you're you're free. You're all over the place. You gotta uh, manage your energies, ladies. Okay. You young ladies, 18 years and older, you're all over the place. You got to manage your energies because I see you're creating a lot of issues for um, men that is marry and their family. So young ladies, you got to control your energy because I see you're throwing your energy. And this is only for young ladies between the ages of uh, um, 18 and 25 is that you're um, connecting with these married men and you're having friendship bonds with these men but it's affecting their families so however is this coming up you gotta be aware of how you are um, showing yourself in these relationship because I see you're so open you're you're just throwing yourself all over the place you gotta be careful okay whatever is happening I see some of you ladies um, 25 years and older are seeking or trying to figure out if your partner is having an affair. Whatever is transpiring, I see you the young ladies are trying to figure out if your partner have an affair or if your ex is seeing someone else. And this is affecting the ladies 25 years and older. Whatever is transpiring there is as if you, if you are married, or if you have uh, um, children with a man, you're trying to figure out what are they doing? Is there someone else? So I see you guys are kind of figuring out, is my partner seeing someone else? And I see you're trying to either check out his phone or whatever to find out if he's seeing someone else. So I see the energy that you ladies are going to be billing. Um... Um, stronger foundation I see some of you at X could be coming back and you're trying to make sure that the problems that you have had in your past relationship um, you're trying to build a better relationship so that you don't have to, those problems so I see some of you are if you're in a new relationship you're kind of want to clear the air in a relationship so that you don't have the same problems that you had with the ex so i see you ladies really working on yourself but also working on having better healthy relationships in your life and this is going to be good okay that is wonderful i see the energy of the magician coming up and whenever this energy comes up is some of you dating queens are going to be meeting someone from a past life so whoever is dating out there, you're going to be meeting someone and it's as if you have known this person and this person is from a past life, but you're going to be hitting the mark because this person is going to end up becoming um, um, a love, um, a true love to you. Okay, so you're going to be hitting the mark. So whoever this person is. Um, this is someone from a past life because you have never met this person before and you're going to be meeting this person and this person is kind of hitting the mark and you're going to be realizing, whoa, I think I could really have a relationship with this person. Then we have Blossom and I see that this relationship, whoever you have met, you realize that you can really, really have a relationship with this person. This person is showing you so much positive alignment of energies and i see that this is going to be good for you because 
whatever is happening and transpiring with this uh, relationship and this person who you are dating and you're um realize it it is as if uh, the bond the friendship the feelings between you and this person it is so good it is uh, it is not based some of you this relationship could be based that you are just seeing this person because um you know they help you financial out you go out for dinner and that sort of a thing and then you're realizing there is more to this person and i see you're going to be opening up to this person a lot of you are releasing karmatic relationship that was only based on money whatever is happening and transpiring i see some of you capricorns are really deciding i need to end a karmatic relationship this relationship was only based on money and you're deciding to end this relationship it was a karmatic relationship and you're finding out that it was only based on materialistic stability and there was no love in this relationship and I think you are seeing it now and you are going to decide to end the relationship there is also some of you are going to be learning to trust again and this is really positive because what has transpired is that some of you have learned or, or as le um, lose your trust in a trusting a partner um, some of you um have been so hurt that you s stop trusting and i see some of you are turning your backs freeing yourself from a karmatic relationship and you're learning to trust again and i see that this is good you could be still in the relationship but it's as if you are learning to trust again and you're being free um you're not really thinking about what my partner is doing you are letting go and realizing that you can't control everything around you and you're learning to trust again and just letting giving your partner space and by that you're growing together i see some sadness and isolation is going to be coming up for some of you young ladies between the ages of uh, 18 and uh, uh, 25 i see um you are you're looking for a relationship but you're so sad there's heartbreaks that is coming up for you ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 so whatever has transpired i see really some heartbreaks is coming up between you and the, you um ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 and it's coming because your partner is unable to see you you're feeling a little bit upset about this and you feel heartbroken okay so i and and it's only affecting the ladies between the ages of 18 and 25 i see you're heartbroken because your partner is unable to see you and you're very upset about this and um you are so sad and heartbroken and you're letting it go so it's kind of hard for you young ladies it's really hard for you young ladies um what is transpiring because uh, the the most mature women are going to be learning to trust again and free themselves and realizing that i can love myself if even i don't have a partner but you younger ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 are going to be heartbroken um because your partner is unable like to see you so whatever is transpiring i see heartbreaks are coming up now um capricorn the outcomes of this love reading and if you want an extended version go um join the channel it is coming together so a lot of you who are in relationships and marriages you are going to be learning to work and come together and build a friendship bond and this is going to be good because it's as if you capricorns decide i'm not looking any further i am in a relationship that i'm in and i'm going to work on this relationship and try to um build not only um a relationship but a friendship bond as i move along it says some of you decided you know something i've been around the block and now i'm going to keep this relationship and work on this relationship so wonderful energies because coming together is good 
I see some of you could be deciding that if you were seeing someone, you're going to be deciding to make it, yeah, you know, moving in. Some of you could be moving in together, that sort of a thing. So Capricorn, it looks like um, a good month in love. It's not excited, but it is okay. There's a lot of balance. So you're balancing out yourself. Some of you are learning to trust again. Some of you are going to be reconnecting with people from past life. And this relationship is going to be good. I see some of you learn to work on your relationships and looking for healthy relationships or and are in healthy relationships. So this is good. So Capricorns, that was it for you this month. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm moving on to the Tauruses. All right, Tauruses, um, wonderful. Mm, very wonderful. Tauruses, uh, what we have here. I see some of you Taurus trying to find inner strength. So some of you Tauruses are trying to find inner strength. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see you Taurus is trying to find inner strength with your relationship. Some of you Taurus could be seeing a younger person and you're trying to balance out this relationship. Some of you young people are trying to find balance and inner strength to deal with a situation that because there could be a breakup and you're trying to find inner strength to move forward. So Taurus says there is a lot that is happening with your relationship. Some of you could have had a breakup um, and someone leaves you behind with the kids. So I'm not seeing a divorce. I just see that this person could just leave you behind with the kids. So um, maybe it's just a separation. I see you and the family and you're trying to figure out what went wrong in my relationship. So whatever is transpiring, Taurus is, I see your partner is leaving you and you're going within to find out what went wrong in my relationship. What have I said? What have I do? And um, you're trying to figure out what is transpiring. I see really hurts and pain and that bring you to the space of going within to find out um, who is this person or why does my partner um, leave me in whatever way that is coming up. That is what I'm seeing coming out. Some of you are going to be finding rebalance and going to be rebalance yourself, your relationship. I see healing is coming up for the people who have um, turned their backs on a relationship or um, have been left in the cold. I see you're going to be finding balance in yourself because a relationship or your partner could have just ended a relationship without saying anything. Some of you who are alone, I see you're learning to look at where and what has transpired in your relationship and you're working to bring this and heal your own self. And this is going to be very good. You're healing your own self and building back healthy ways of having relationship. And that is really, really very positive. I see a lot of you could be meeting the love of your life through dating. Whoever you meet, you Tauruses, through dating, it is a yes. So some of you Tauruses are dating and you're going to be meeting someone via dating. It is a yes, go for this person because you both were meant to be, um, come together. So I see a very positive alignment of energies for you, Tauruses, because I see love is coming in and I see the people who open up their heart to go on dating. You're going to be surprised because you're going to be meeting someone and this person is going to be the love of your life that is going to be coming in and you're going to be really um, taking on this person in your life and this is going to be wonderful okay so whatever that um whoever decide to go on a date this month it is a yes go because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be meeting someone that is going to change your life in a good way all right so we see flow comes up i see a lot of tauruses are just going with the flow 
I see things are good money is good you're going with the flow you're enjoying yourself you're understanding um, some of you have just started a relationship some of you have been in a relationship and money is good so the relationship is good emotions are positive there is good flow in your relationship at this time you Tauruses so it is really looking good for you Tauruses especially in this month because I see a lot of Tauruses whenever your financial stable I and, and a lot of people are like uh, or like that whenever your financial stable um and money is flowing I see that this is very powerful because you yourself is balanced um also emotional and this is good shine Tauruses because relationship that was having problems is this this is going to be resolved in this month whatever if you were married if you had a you're in a relationship and there was some problems it is going to be resolved in this month so I see an Elin coming in for you um, Tauruses that is in a relationship I see a relationship that has been going through some problems is going to be ill and a positive alignment a rebuild is coming in between you and your partner so I see the problems that you guys were dealing with is as if some of you went to therapy and you're trying to rebuild your marriage or your relationship and this is really going to be positive because I see you guys are learning to trust each other again and this is going to be good because you realize that um, your relationship was um, in trouble and you choose to go and look for help and I see that you guys are going to rebuild and this relationship is going to be lasting rest and recuperation some of you who have gone through an art break in the last couple of months are just staying away and taking some time out for yourself so I see whoever has been heartbroken um, the last couple of months you're resting you're taking time out and enjoying your freedom at this moment um, in this month so however it affects you whether it was a breakup a year or two years six months however that is you're enjoying yourself because you are enjoying your freedom you have money you have no need to worry um, and you are feeling good so Taurus says let's see speak your truth okay so Taurus says um, I see most of you this month it's going to be you speaking your truth and you're going to be um, keeping these um, promises and friendship bond and speaking your truth so it's all about the throat chakra it's all about the stroke chakra if there was a sense of uh, um, your ex come back to reunite I think you're going to think I know it's good I'm, I'm feel good I you know it was good that the relation ended I see you're just gonna speak your truth and you are going to be feeling good because um, however way I see in the relationship communication is going to be the key for this month for you Tauruses so enjoy Tauruses you have um, um, you're gonna be meeting someone really special and you're going to be going with the flow people who are having relationship problems um, is this is going to be ill I see a lot of you going in um, for help and this is going to be ill alrighty Tauruses have a good month happy Valentine's Day well Virgos let's see what's coming out for you Virgos Virgos control control some of you Virgos are in a controlling relationship or is seeing a younger person that is very controlling and I see that you're going to be realizing this and you're like do I really want to be here or should I get out of this relationship so I see you Virgos especially you Virgos between the ages of 18 and 45 I see that you feel as if you're controlled in a relationship and you're going to be thinking whether or not you want to be in this relationship so I see a lot of you really um, trying to figure out is this the relationship for me or should I you know look for another relationship whatever is going on Virgo I see you're going to be fine okay um Virgos remember for the extended of this reading join the channel and you can pick up your own extended reading which is half an hour long okay so I see a movement I see new love I see people are reconnecting you or 
um, reconnecting, you're going to be moving away from a controlled relationship into a really positive relationship. So this is good. I see a lot of you could be um, changing relationships. Um, so when this energy comes up, that means I see a relationship going up another level where people could be getting married. Okay. Go check out your um, uh, extended because I see some of you are going to be um, getting um, engaged, okay? Then I see some of you ladies reaching out to your friends for help. I see some of you ladies, um, your partner has left you and the kids. And I see you're reaching out and connecting with your friends and they're going to be there for you. Some of you ladies, um, your partner just got up and left you during the holiday season or after the holiday season. And I see you're really trying to figure out you have never said anything to anyone. And now in February, you're finally getting out and letting your friends know what has to transpire. And I see you're being confronted and you're confronting yourself because you're saying, how didn't I see this coming in? You're saying, how did I, because you're confronting yourself, you're wondering, how did I see this coming? And um, I see your friends are going to be there for you and they're going to really support you um, through this process because it's as if you're beating on yourself to say, how didn't I see this coming in? It was just out of the blues, unexpected. And now you're confronting yourself. You're trying to confront all of your friends to see if they had known anything. And um, you are looking for a healing and you will receive this healing. So a lot of people who have gone through difficult relationship, I see in this month, you're learning to love yourself and healing yourself. And for the people who your partner got up and left you, um, I see that you're confronting yourself and you're really finding inner strength and looking at the things and what exactly has transpired with my relationships and where I need to change and what I need to heal in relationships. So I see this is coming up for you, Virgos, okay? So that is good. Um, some of you, um, I see you're going to be meeting someone and you're going to be just realizing that it's all about love. People just is looking for someone to love them. Not everyone is looking for materialistic. People just want someone to love them and to have their backs. And I think that that is what you Virgos are going to be looking for in this month. And this is going to be beautiful because some of you are going to be realizing that you have met someone and this person really makes your heart flutter and you're realizing that this person is just clean and pure and is just looking for love. That's what they want, not what I have. And this is going to be good. A lot of you are going to start to learn to listen. Okay, so your relationship, I see you're learning to listen and through that, you're realizing that it has more effect on your partner. So some of you Virgos was just giving your partner materialistic things and then you're realizing, oh my God, but it's all about, they just want me to listen. That That is what it's all about. So I see you're going, some of you Virgos are just going to start to listen and you know, you're thinking listening is not going to hurt me. So let me listen. The more I listen, the less quarrels we can have. I don't have to say anything. Just sit and listen to what they said. And this is going to be good because it's a form of you healing your relationship, whatever that was there. You're going to be bringing balance in your relationship by just listening. And sometimes people do not really understand that relationships end because the partners, you don't listen to each other. And that is one of the the biggest biggest um relationship problem is that people don't listen to each other people don't listen to what each other acts in and what they want okay it's all about 50 50 relationship is about working together okay it's about 50 50. now i see that some of you were heartbroken and you are taking back your power and this is good because you're empowering yourself. I see a lot of you take some time off. You uh, enjoy your freedom by understanding 
what has transpired in this relationship and you are really healing yourselves in the time so you some of you who are free because you're just came out or broke up with a relationship you are going through your sadness you're healing yourself you're understanding and you're taking back your power and that is very good because you're going to be finding out at the end of the day that relationship was only in my life uh, um, to help me understand and to help me deal with certain um, aspect of myself that I wasn't looking at and the outcomes is that you Virgos in love your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true and I see some of you are going to be communicating that some of you Virgos are going to be asked the ends of marriage or you are going to be asking someone the ends of marriage and it's going to be a yes so if you guys decide to make or ask someone the ends of marriage it's going to be yes go for it enjoy so ladies and gentlemen that was the end of your love reading if you would like to extend it to join the channel and you can pick up your extended um there is different different levels so you have to choose the level that you want to be and you can pick up your extended here namaste until next time